been a few minutes since we've seen you, man. How's it, uh, how's it feeling to get back in there this week? It feels good, man. You can see my energy in here. I'm uh, really excited to be out here in Hidalgo. Headline on the first car here. And, uh, man, I'm just happy and blessed to be able to fight. Man, my shoulders are really bad after the DS fight. And um, it just means the world to be healthy, to be coming in here and fighting a great opponent like Dustin, man. How you know, uh, frustrating was it to have to work through an injury like that and, and know that you want to be back in there a lot sooner than this? Uh, it was extremely frustrating, man. You know, um, Laborman rotator cuff surgery. You know, he went in there, he looked at my cuff, and he said it was bad. He said I had a hole in it, found a hole in my labrum. So this has been like years upon this. And um, the three months of recovery was really hard, a lot of rehab. And um, then I jumped right into a training camp, and it's been great ever since. So the frustration built, sorry about that, the frustration built, but then it came back up after, you know, I got healthy. Was that an injury that you felt was, was holding you back in previous fights? Yeah, I think it was. I honestly do. Um, I'm not using it as any excuse for any previous fights because uh, I had no idea what was going on in my shoulders, but there was something going on. You know, you could tell in my fights by watching it and uh, glad my doctor found it and uh, fixed it. It's been 18 months or so since you've had your hand raised. So how much of a motivating factor has that played in this camp itself? Uh, a lot. Um, it's a huge motivating factor. You know, I love going in there and getting wins and putting on great performances. Um, my last two fights might not have been the best, you know, but the Benil fight I did enough to win. The Nate fight was wishy-washy, and now um, I'm back to the old me, man. Aggressive every second of that fight. I'm not, I'm not taking any seconds off. You know, I'm going in here. I'm going to kill, and uh, my back's against the wall, man. You know, I got to come in here. I got to be aggressive and uh, dangerous. Can you break Dustin down for us a little bit. I mean, he's obviously been on a pretty solid tear since he moved back up to 155. Yeah, um, you know, Dustin's a tough guy. You know, he uh, he comes in there to bang, but who has he fought at 55, you know? He hasn't fought anybody in the top 10. He hasn't fought any of the top guys in this division. You know, um, he got knocked out by Connor and went to go run to 55 because he thought he had a better chance. You know, this is the toughest division in the world for a reason. You know, you don't just come in this division and think you're going to take over and be untouchable. You know, um, I I'm not going to allow that to happen. I mean, you're clearly the biggest name that he's fought since he's moved back up. Absolutely, and uh, I, I think I'm clearly the, uh, not only the bigger name, but, but the best guy he's going to fight since he moved up. And um, I'm a dangerous opponent, especially right now. Like I said, man, my back's against the wall. I'm in a corner, and i got to fight to get out of this corner, and Dustin's in front of me.